mortgage mess and the threat of foreclosure has some homeowners taking some pretty drastic action. You've heard about people walking away. Well, wait until you hear what Jane Wells is reporting on this morning. Jane, good morning. Hi, Becky. Arson as a means to rip off insurers is still relatively rare, but it is growing. This house fire, for example, in Michigan was started by a woman facing foreclosure who admits she set the fire with her husband and kids inside. Cheryl Marie Christmas says she's trying to get out of a $150,000 mortgage. Andrea Propus, meantime, is accused of starting a fire in her South Carolina home the night before it was foreclosed on. In Iowa, Lawrence and Patricia Atwood are sentenced uh, for up to 10 years for torching their house facing foreclosure. Then there are just dozens of other suspicious fires, like this one in Sacramento. This vacant home with eviction notice burned down. There is a foreclosed home going up for auction right next door. It's my personal belief that some people believe that if they're in a foreclosure problem, that by burning the house down, it's going to get them out of it. It's not going to get them out of it. And you know what? In all honesty, we're going to catch you. Now, one reason this sort of arson remains somewhat rare, even if you manage to get away with it, any insurance check may just go to the lender if you're in foreclosure, or even if it's enough to pay off the mortgage, it may not leave you enough to rebuild. Far more common in this economy, people torching their cars because they can't afford the car payments or the price of gas. We'll see people um, who have gas guzzlers, SUVs, sometimes just ditch their cars, report them stolen. Sometimes you find these cars uh, ditched out in the desert, perhaps torched. People who have large SUV-type vehicles, we're finding that some of them are actually uh, driving them and dumping them into lakes, into rivers. Now, Jerry Davies from Farmers would hardly call it an epidemic, but it is rising, and he says most of the fraud guys is occurring in the upper Midwest, the Southwest, and here in California. Back to you. That is uh, drastic, Jane. I, I, you're going to get caught, right? I mean, it, it, you can find the stuff that... It's you know, easy to detect, it's, easier it? To, it, it, it's easier to catch. Now, it's easier to determine that it's arson than it used to be, it, and it's easier to catch people than it used to be, but it's still, it's still not a done deal. However, if you were supposed to move out tomorrow and the house goes up in flames tonight, yeah. mm, <laughs> that's pretty good circumstantial evidence. Mm -hmm. All right, Jane. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it.